Florida, already full of terrifying animals and critters, is now battling massive invasive snails. So the, the giant African land snail that, you know, we use the acronym GALS, G-A-L-S. It originally came from West Central Africa um, and it has been carried around um, partly accidental, um, right, hitchhiking on uh, potted plants. So it's a really bad problem in Hawaii, throughout the Caribbean, and also in Florida, periodically. African land snails, which can grow to be the size of a human hand, were recently detected in Pasco County. So the area was quickly quarantined. They are extremely destructive to horticultural crops. To some extent, they, they can do damage to landscape. The other concern is that they are the intermediate host for the rat lungworm. Dr. Bill Kern says there's a circle of life process with the rats and snails that is natural and normal. In the normal situation, the, the rat eats a snail and it ingests the infective, so it ingests the immature worm. The immature worm moves through, its, it's into the bloodstream and then ends up in the lungs. There, it will go ahead and it will produce eggs and the eggs are excreted in the feces of the rat. The snails eat the rat feces. The eggs hatch, they become infected with the juvenile worm. And then the rat eats the snail and the process continues. But when humans ingest these mollusks or their slime, it leads to problems. If people eat that with their salad, then they can become infected. If it gets into people because we're not the right host, it gets lost. And so instead of ending up in the lungs, um, it will end up inside the eyeball. Uh, it will end up inside the brain and will cause, a, when it gets into the brain, it uh, causes a meningitis. To avoid rat lungworm, washing and cooking food properly will help. It is like a commercially produced salad mix. It should have already been thoroughly washed. With your home produce, I would give it a, a good rinsing. Anything that you're going to cook is fine because the, the cooking will kill any of the life stage of the rat lungworm. Also, don't touch the snails. I normally recommend wearing gloves. The um, infectious stage of the worm can't penetrate the skin, but if you happen to have any cuts or scrapes on your hand, they, there's a possibility. Overall, it's best to be cautious. If you see these large snails and they're fairly distinctive, call the Division of Plant Industries, let them know and they'll come out. The other thing that we recommend is for homeowners to make sure that they keep roof rats in the neighborhood under control. And that can either be with trapping in houses or bait stations, poison bait stations. We want to try to break the life cycle in all the places where it's susceptible. So control the snails, control the rats. And if you do that, you control the rat lungworm. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindle.